Thanks to the hints they dropped on Instagram, it was no secret that We Are One was developing a carbon mountain bike frame right here in Canada. NSMB.com got an exclusive chance to ride the bike and tour We Are One's impressive manufacturing facilities a few days before the bike was launched. We thought it would be cool to hear from the team behind the arrival frame, so we sat down with them after a ride, cracked a few beers, and dug into what it took to turn Dustin Adams' dream into reality. Tell me about the bike, guys. <laughs> so, uh, the arrival team. Uh, can you guys please introduce yourselves and tell us what your contribution to the, the project of the We Are One Arrival was? Don't look at me. Oh, I got to I left to right. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, my name is Adam. I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, so on the arrival, mostly focused on, on layout and process development. So where we put the carbon in the bike. Um, and then how we actually take it from pieces of carbon into a complete product we can hand off the paint. And I'm Vlad, and uh, I designed the bike and do kinematics, geometry, and literally get the idea to prototype stage. So pretty much like one-stop shop for uh, development. So this way we can actually steer the idea and get it as quick as possible to a rideable thing, which also looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, Gilles, and uh, I'm a machinist. And I machine all the molds and help with the mold design. And I'm Dustin. And I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm quite curious about when you guys first sat down to talk about the, the bike. I know the it was an idea for a long time to build a bike, but when you finally said, "Okay, we're doing it," what were you looking for? And uh, I'm not sure who the best person is to address that, but when you said, okay, we want a bike that does this, how did that discussion go? Well, I think before we even started the conversation about what the bike is, it was a... Can we make one? Can we make one, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How, how much do we know going into this project was the initial conversation, I guess, eh? It was like uh, star-crossed lovers almost. We got along so well and yeah, I've never met somebody in such a short period and clicked so well and drove a, an idea so quick uh, forward to uh, from concept to something we could tangibly make ever before. It was it was amazing. Yeah, we agreed on some elements though at the beginning. We we said like we wanted to have a floating uh, floating rear triangle. There was a few key elements that we had to agree on immediately, and from there um, it was about a two month process to drive to where we were like. Yeah, that's exactly what we want to make for the, yeah. for the prototype. That's what we want to make. Yeah. So uh, now that you've arrived at this bike, um, I, I'd like one of you to, to tell me about the bike and and what someone who um, someone riding it for the first time would expect. <laughs> what was your, actually you rode the bike that's before a, me yeah, because I was the in the UK. One, yeah. So what was your first? What was our first feel like when we hopped on the? Remember, so me and Jill yeah. we hopped on the absolutely horribly laid up blowing bag rear and front end on version one in the parking lot in rough the, prototype the very rough prototype what, yeah. what did we feel that first day and the first thing i noticed was it was almost like the bike had like pedal assist like you just drove forward through all the rocks and and everything it was like it, it was such a weird feeling and then That's uh, from the high anti-squat values of the bike it's it's uh it's a high raising rate, so it's the high. The higher the anti squat values, the thing doesn't bob. It's meant to drive, and when you do put the pedal or the power into the pedal, you feel like 100% of that effort is being delivered to the rear wheel, and you're actually rocketing forward with your pedal stroke when you're really on the gas. Absolutely. Yeah. What about on the way down? Super supple, very stable. Um, it was like minimal rider input to get the thing to go it just wants to go fast yeah it's it's awesome the thing about it where you're like every time in the parking lot you're sitting there and the head tube always like flops over and you're like okay what the hell is going on here the trail like the actual contact patch on the front tires like the, the contact patch is in front of where you think it is where your weight is so when you dig into the corner and the, with the head tube angle it grips really well 
um, and it actually tracks amazing. Like you don't feel like the bike is ever going to, to let go under you. It's just tracking, 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 and you never have this sense of, okay, any minute now, you know, when you have that uneasy feeling where the bike's kind of twitchy, you're not really sure if you can attack anymore and you're not really sure, you're not confident. This just does not have that. It's turn it in, keep the keep it pinned and it's going to go exactly where we want it to go. All in all, I have to say like we we haven't experienced anything that has put us so far back on our heels that we weren't able to right the ship and get it back to or much better within at least a, a week uh, of, of head scratching and uh, processing. Um, well, we have such a small yeah, team. Yeah, it's like it's fast. What's it's, the problem? We'll start at one end, work to the other, and get it done. We had to whittle it down to, uh, you know, where most of the market lays, and that's why we chose the arrival uh, where it sits today. Ninety percent. Yeah. But yeah, that's that that frame is more than capable the for the front and the rear triangle carbon wise is more than capable to go way up and travel as you can see a fox this 40 on exactly it the same laminate. um and uh it also with some laminate adjustments also to go down so it's a great platform amazing well congratulations on uh your accomplishment it's uh it's it's quite an amazing bike and the fact that you made it all here in Kamloops is is remarkable, and as as a first effort, uh, it's uh, it's a spectacular achievement. So congratulations to all of you, and uh, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thanks, Cam. Thank thanks you. for coming to Kamloops and enjoying the smoke, yeah. <laughs> having a beer. <laughs> That's <absolutely laughs> Cheers. Yeah.